What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, we will discuss about wow. Earth Subsystem. So, let's get it! So, everything in Earth System can be placed into one of four major subsystems. Land, water, living things, or air. These four subsystems are called spheres. Specifically, they are the lithosphere, which is land, hydrosphere, which is water, biosphere, which is living things, and atmosphere, which is air. Each of these four spheres can be further divided into subspheres. Lithosphere. The lithosphere is the solid, outer part of the earth. It includes the rocks of the crust and mantle the metallic liquid outer core and a solid metallic inner core. It briefly discusses the plate tectonics as an important process shaping the surface of the Earth. The primary driving mechanism is the Earth's internal heat, such as that in mantle convection. Hydrosphere. About 70% of the Earth is covered with liquid water and much of it is in the form of ocean water. Only 3% of the Earth's water is fresh, 67% are in the form of ice, and the remaining 33% are in present in streams, lakes, and groundwater. The oceans are sinks for CO2 through direct exchange with the atmosphere and indirectly through the weathering of rocks. Heat is absorbed and redistributed on the surface of the Earth through ocean circulation. Biosphere. The biosphere is the set of all forms on Earth. It covers all ecosystems from the soil to the rainforest, from the mangroves to the coral reefs, and from the plankton rich ocean surface to the deep sea. For the majority of life on Earth, the base of food chain comprises photosynthetic organisms. During photosynthesis, CO2 is sequestered from the atmosphere, while oxygen is released as a byproduct. The biosphere is a CO2 sink, and therefore, it is an important part of the carbon cycle. Atmosphere The atmosphere is the thin gaseous layer that envelops the lithosphere. The present atmosphere is composed of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0 point time argon, and trace amount of other gases. One of the most important processes by which the heat on the Earth's surface is redistributed is through atmospheric circulation. There is also a constant exchange of heat and moisture between the atmosphere and the hydrosphere through the hydraulic cycle. So, that's all for my video. Hope you like it and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.